on the road, losing to the Phoenix Suns. Mm. Your final score, 118 to 109. LeBron James, though, did continue chasing Michael Jordan on that all-time scoring list. He had 27 points on 10 of 21 from the field. He had nine rebounds and 16 assists as well, but it wasn't quite enough to get it done. Here's Coach Luke Walton after the game. We need to be a lot better. Uh, I am I'm happy with the fight they, we showed in the fourth quarter, but that's where we're at in the season. That's the, that's the desperation that... Uh, we need to start the game with. I mean, there was 50-50 balls in that first half that we weren't getting to. Uh, one in the third quarter that bounced right in front of us that turned into a fast break for them. Now we started playing with it, and that, you know, that that, that shows me that the group cares and that they, they you know, they, they they're still invested, and I believe in our group. But that's, I know it's the back end of a back-to-back, -back and guys are playing big minutes, but. Uh, we got we got to find a, a way to to start and play entire ball games with that same type of passion. Um, I think that's now you know I, I I've, I'm going to leave that alone. That, that's what I got. You guys go ahead. What's your just level of uh, not whether confidence or lack thereof now as you look towards the the deficit and the four games back and the loss column you know, to the teams that are in the eight as you as you think about the place uh, the playoffs or a postseason push. I'm confident. I, I told I believe in our group. We need to play a lot better, but I believe that we can get it done. This game, this game tonight. Was there something in particular early? Was it just energy? Was it continuity? Was it what did you notice that wasn't quite there? It always starts with energy, and that was the, the big uh, challenge to the group tonight. Um, we have to create our own. We got to find it, and I, you know, I, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we did a good job of that until the fourth quarter. Who you made the change at halftime to get you bail? Yeah. That group. Um, what do you think started it? What did you think of that start to the period, and how did they end up building on that lead after halftime? Well, I thought I thought Javel was great. He was playing with energy. So we went. Uh, we needed. Uh, I didn't feel like the the group as a whole had it. So we tried to bring someone that was playing with that that type of energy, and I thought he continued to do it. But uh, unfortunately, until the fourth quarter, we really didn't uh, we didn't engage our, ourselves. When you guys go for it. This, you guys entered this game in a pretty desperate situation in terms of trying to make the playoffs. Given that, how do you explain the lack of passion or energy coming into it? Uh, I don't try to explain it. I just know we got to be better. Uh, I know that our group has worked really hard all year, so I'm going to continue to believe in them. Um, but I don't have an explanation for it. Do you think they believe in each other right now? I think so. And uh, you talk about, or you have talked about, um, you, again, considering dealing with injuries and, and things like second night back to back on the road, you want to have unforced errors and, and a play where LeBron takes the ball out of bounds and throws it off the back of the backboard. Does, what does that say about where your level of focus was as a group tonight? Well, I don't, I don't think that's the play to point out. I think, um, I think LeBron has always been. Uh, very focused in, in what uh, his approach to uh, to the game and, and what it takes to get uh, into the postseason and, and for him even you know a, a step further into the finals um, yeah, that was a unforced turnover which we talked about and we've done a much better job the last three or four games of taking care of the ball um, but to me the the tell was more tonight uh, was more about our, our effort to chase down those rebounds, to chase down loose balls, to be the aggressor. Um, that's what that, that 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 was more of I think why we ended up with uh, with a loss tonight. What did you make of the play where uh, Aiton was matched up on the win, or I guess the short corner against Josh Hart and, and a foul was called the the play with he, he, yeah, Josh Harper, with, so yeah under a minute to go in a one yeah. possession game where he traveled twice and then offensive foul that play yeah I, I don't I, I I didn't see uh I didn't see that uh I didn't see Josh Fallon but maybe I'll, I'll get a better look at it uh, from a different angle somewhere Josh all right, let's take a look at the Western Conference standing what bothered you the most about the game tonight um I don't know. I mean, we had um, had chances in the, in the second quarter to, to kind of close that, to close the quarter the right way. Um, 
you know, we I felt like we had a call that didn't go our way. They kind of changed the game around in the, in the second quarter. And then third quarter, we allowed them to jump on us, um, you know, and got up. I think it's, uh, you know, double digits. Um, so, you know, we it was just it wasn't there throughout 48 games all night. And, uh, you know, that's kind of like the frustrating part of it all. But we had opportunities, obviously, um, but wasn't able to um, to come through. Yeah, how is your frustration level right now? Um, I mean, listen, we, you know, obviously we needed this game uh, for obvious reasons, and we wanted to play well. Um, at times we played well. Um, I think we was always together at times as well. Um, I have the right mind frame of, of what we uh, are trying to accomplish tonight. Um, so, I mean, it's just unfortunate with the opportunity that we've had, and uh, we haven't been able to... Um, to seize the opportunity. Luke, Luke said he's still confident because of the work collectively you guys have put in all year. Are there things that, that give you confidence despite where the standings show right now? Um, I mean, we can't keep looking at the standings. The standings are going to be what they are no matter what. No matter if you win or lose, you can't. I, I've never been one to kind of look at the standings. I mean, you've known me for a while. I, I, so you just got to go out and do your job and, and try to do it at a high level throughout 48 minutes and, and then see what, what, what happens at the end of that. So. You can't focus on, on the standings because they shift and move so much throughout the, throughout the course of the season. It was an unusual play. Uh, you involved with inbound the ball behind the basket yeah. and, and just hit the back of the basket. Yeah, that was just silly on my part. That's just, um, you know, I thought I had a, a little bit more room to get it to B.I. Uh, JaVel was kind of right there. I tried to throw it over JaVel's head and, and, and hit the uh, and hit the foam on the backboard. So that's just, that's just stupidity, on, stupidity on my part. How, how frustrating is it when, when you guys have put so much fight in to have a, you know you, you miss those couple of free throws after kind of the run you guys had made in the fourth quarter? Is that is that stick? I mean, it's frustrating for me personally that you know how I'm shooting free throw. I mean, last night I was eight for ten, shot the ball you know well throughout the whole game. And tonight I go four for nine or whatever I was. So for for the individual part of it, that's frustrating for me to to um, you know to miss free throws. But um, for a collective group, I know the game didn't come down to those two free throws. Um, uh, that's for sure. But. For me personally, um, yeah, I definitely could have played a lot better, um, you know, throughout the whole game. You talked about a lack of passion and energy at the beginning of the game. Did you see that? I'm not here to uh, to harp on you know the negativity or the negative. Um, we had opportunities. Um, yeah, we could have played better here. We could have played better there. I mean, that's been throughout the whole season. You know, it's been throughout the whole season, but. You know, right now, uh, you know, it's a tough loss. It's a tough loss for us. It was a tough loss for us last night. We knew we had gave so much to that game last night. We had to kind of find our own energy. Um, I actually felt a lot better than I thought I was going to feel um, once I got on the floor. But as a collective group, we just we didn't always have it. Um, you know, a few of us had it at times, but it wasn't always a five-man collective, uh, you know, group, um, at, at least until those last, like, five minutes. Do you think there was an emotional hangover from the way that game ended last night? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm the wrong guy to ask. I, I, what do you mean? I, I've played in t too many big games. I don't have emotional hangovers. It's, I just know the, the landscape of the game and uh, how you got to continue to just be ready no matter what the circumstances is. So uh, I'm not the one to ask about that. Last question, please. Who did you make a new of energy out there today? He was wonderful. <laughs> Uh, he was great last night. Even the opportunity, the small amount of that he got last night, he was great last night, and he was great tonight on both sides of the floor. His activity, um, you know, obviously him around the rim, us just trying to throw it to him, and him being able to finish, knock down a couple of jumpers, um, got some block shots. So uh, he was great. He was great all night. So the Lakers now sit four and a half games outside of the Western Conference playoff picture. My dear friend, the incomparable Rachel Nichols, just tweeted, the Lakers lose to the Suns. They've now lost to the Suns, Knicks, Cavs, Hawks, Pelicans, and Grizzlies twice this season. All of those teams are in the bottom third of the standings. So forget the top teams or even the middle teams. If you beat those teams, you're in the playoffs. And those are... <clears throat> A lot of that takes it, 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 mental errors, right? Yeah, and a lot of that is just from not focusing on the right things. Sometimes coming out there looking at uh, looking at a team and thinking, oh, we're better yeah. than them. 
And then what happens is you come out there sleepwalking, and next thing you know, you get hit in the mouth, and you give that team confidence, and you have a ball game, and you play <clears> these <throat> games like that. And I've been in those type of situations before, but I remember also in D.C., we were a good team, not a great team. But our coaching staff would always tell us, listen, if we take care of the games that we should win against the bad teams in this league and just go maybe close to 500 or hover at 500 against the good teams, we'll make it to the playoffs. And we were able to be successful in that manner. It's like the Lakers didn't get that speech, though, yeah. because they take on the bad team and they still look at the fact that we're the Lakers and they come out there like they're the established Lakers when they're not. And they don't realize they're right there with those teams. So they need to meet their energy and they, they haven't done it. How do you fix that? If you're Luke Walton now at this point, which we just saw him say, it starts with energy. And that's what we've talked about. That's what they've got to bring. How do you change that? It's broken what's there right now. Um, I think we, see, we saw from Luke's comments, we see from LeBron's comments. Um, and listen, I, I'm one of the old heads that's, uh, I'm a, I love LeBron. I think he's terrific. Um, you know, f from a lot off the court, on the court, I'm a big fan. Watching this is tough because it does seem like his level, I want to be polite here, his level of give a care isn't where it has been in the past. He definitely seems like he's sort of just over this, this whole experiment of this season. I'm with you, Brendan. It's tough to to waste the season with when you have LeBron James and it almost feels that way right now. It's almost like sometimes he's like a, a malaise, like he's just sleepwalking yeah. out there. And um, like you look at the stat line tonight and that doesn't tell you the story of the game. I play with LeBron. He is great enough to get incredible yeah. stats on any night because he's he is the not arguably he is the most gifted athlete to ever play in the NBA. When you talk about size, strength, quickness, <laughs> Michael speed. Jordan. No, 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 no. I'm talking about I didn't say the best player. Physical gifts, even Michael Jordan wasn't as physically gifted as LeBron James. We can agree to disagree. Okay, no problem. Right. And so, <laughs> but what happens is in the past, LeBron would put all those physical gifts on display at both ends of the court. And now we're not seeing it on the defensive end. He's almost playing like what James Harden was doing several years ago, where he was resting on yeah. defense, playing hard on offense. And that's why it looks so different this year because we're not used to seeing that. There was a play, I want to say in the third quarter, where Kelly Oubre gets a steal. And in the past, I'm used to watching LeBron James hawk Kelly Oubre down, meet him at the rim, and send that shot into, this, uh, into the cheap seats. He just resigned to the fact that Kelly Oubre was going to get a layup, and he just ran beside, trotted beside him, watched him get the layup, and then took the ball out of bounds. That's not the LeBron we're used to seeing. That's not the level of effort we're used to seeing. I'm not sure if he keeps giving that effort. If we can keep, if we can continue to call him the best player in the NBA, it might be time Ooh. to pass that mantle on to KD. Ooh. If this type of uh, this type of defensive effort continues, and to answer your question, uh, Ledlow, you said, how can the Lakers fix this mentality? Starts with their leader. If their leader steps out there, he's flying all around the court, giving them everything they need. Guess what? The troops will follow. Well, we've got a nine game Saturday night in the NBA as game time continues next with highlights. Including some oh, freaky. Wait a minute. He's freaky. We'll be right back. With the left, too. With the left. 